illegal wage theft is the illegal practice of not paying workers for all of their work. It comes in different forms, like violating minimum wage laws, or not paying for our overtime, forcing workers to work off the clock, late checks, bounce checks, being labeled an independent contractor, and not getting any benefits, skipping breaks. So when we think about the women in our lives who face this issue, who face wage theft, what we're really seeing is that wage theft can be a form of violence against women. When mothers, youth, immigrants, and single mothers have their wages stolen, they're forced to rely on meager pay. They have to struggle to pay for rent, food, education, healthcare, childcare, you name it. Wage theft impacts us all. Whether we're truck drivers, whether we're restaurant workers, hotel workers, whether we're nurses at Long Beach Memorial Hospital, wage theft is happening in those places. Wage theft is happening amongst our faculty who are right now with the California Faculty Association at our California State University system throughout this state who are dealing with matters of wage theft. I've been a victim of as well wage theft personally. Didn't want to pay us our breaks, give us our breaks or pay us our, our pay right struggling to just get your bills paid off on time and struggling with your company and with your work. It took a toll and tore apart my family. To have those wages that are already short and slim cut even further by the audacity of employers to steal wages out of workers' pockets impacts our entire community that much worse. We're gonna pass a policy that's gonna ensure that workers can collect wages that were owed from their employer. That same policy is gonna protect workers in case the employer strikes back against them. It's not gonna be a good thing if it only lasts on paper. It's gotta be something that's actualized in real life. So that's what the enforced part of the policy is about. Collect, collect, enforce. Collect, collect, enforce.